dinner, and then I just come back to whatever the fuck this was. I I'm was so great. confused. Someone um remind me. There's I'm nothing to really talk about. Eugene. There's just some dumb drama. Dude. Yeah, I think we're just gonna move on from it now, guys. We're just gonna move on. They can hash yeah, out whatever they want to in leader chat, but we're just I'm gonna move on as as a group and just play the game. I'm getting flashbacks from CB. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, I haven't started yelling yeah. at people yet. But we're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, ah, I don't know, dude. I just hear people arguing and I, I like have have mini you get orgasms. Happy. Oh, I have like this mini orgasm, so. <laughs> oh my god. You know that? <laughs> you beat out Liz Bro? for the drama. Hey, who, who's at the uh, who's at the lordly front gate? By the way. Is anybody at the lordly front gate? Because like I popped the upgrade, and so it was like immediately I. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna run over there and try to upgrade him. I did upgrade the part at the front and the middle gate, but it wasn't like just now, it was like maybe like a few minutes ago. Alright, no worries. I'll run down there. Just trying to upgrade everything before we leave again. Yeah, I think that's a good call. I'm gonna try to move it to me. Wait, what the hell? In the footprint of an upgraded building. So you got moved back to spawn. Yeah, somebody might have upgraded the building as you walked through it. Did you walk through a gate it or something? It was a gatehouse. It was a gatehouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah I told you. Where is it? The front gate? <laughs> it was the middle one, actually. Yeah. I was on my way to the front gate. I can go check it now. It's not already done. Um, I think the, uh, the final gate here uh, needs some excellent wood. Anybody's got any that wants to do it? I definitely don't have that. Yeah, I'm, I'm broke. I gotta figure out how to get that. Yeah, I'm like working on my gathering right now, and I think once I get that up, um, I'll start doing finished excellent wood. But it, I guess it's pretty expensive because of the crafting oil. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I have the uh, craft the pattern for crafting oil, and it's not that expensive to like kind of make. Compared to what it costs to buy it. Oh yeah. But I think if you have like the proper like a higher skill level to kind of produce it, it's not too bad because you get you know multiple knocks. But mm. it's more expensive than normal stuff, right? So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the hardest thing is just build the beast. Yeah. We got really lucky with somebody who uh, what's the word? Put a bunch of junk. Uh, I think it was like twenty bronze or something for like hundred of them. Holy shit. Yeah. We've been slowly using them towards excellent wood. And we should... So, is Fargum in the call right now? The guy that's for Doom? No, uh, for, well, for Doom, yeah. For Doom. I don't think For Doom's here right now. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, good fight at Lordly. Congrats, we got okay. it. You guys have a good one. Hey, have a good night, man. How's it going, dude? Do I want to go for 99 cooking or just stay there? Wait, is this front gate at tier, like, level 5 now? Yeah, I think it's at level 6. It's at level 6 or level 5? I think I lied to that guy then, because some of these are already at level 6, right? The middle one's at level 6, right? I'll check the... I think the first and the third are level five. That's human correctly.
Yo, yo. Wait, it's, uh, it's, it's, it is finished, excellent. The uh, highest you can upgrade the uh... a strong black colors at level six gate house. The strong protocols is the uh, highest. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's no metal bars or any of that shit. Only on the temples. Even Just temples randomly got to strong black colors. I'm not sure. Just remember, if somebody breaks it, you have to rage quit the server. Say the other side was Zergy. <laughs> you ready to crown him again? What was that? He's a red crown again. Oh red no, red. no, no! I'm talking about the time. Boy, we broke all three strong portcullises at Waterford a week or two ago. I think I was there. It was fun. It was funny. Yeah. I was there. It was a great time. It was a good all fight, right. too. All That's the thing. Is that like the six hour battle for Waterford where we burned it all to the ground? Not all of it, just the three gatehouses. Like. The three gatehouses, and then we sat at the front door for like two hours trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah that one it was, was, it was, it was good... fun, but it was rough. Yeah, it was a good back and forth, though. I liked that fight. Yeah, that one lasted a solid like two hours just going from fucking Greenpoint Farm to the lumber mill. Yeah, yeah, because it wasn't even like it was one sided. We kept getting pushed off it, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that, was, that was a good fight. That was a lot of fun. That's probably still my favorite fight that I've been in so far. Same. Same. Steve Turner, welcome. I think is this my, is this your first time on the stream? <laughs> Twelve thirty a.m. So everything. I think people just power level. That means you're. It's still a couple like eight houses. I think that if you get. That means you're like three hours ahead, I believe. Yeah, you're in. The, you, <clears throat> You're in the East Coast. Yeah, this is a pretty late stream, actually. How are you doing? What's, uh, what's keeping you up? Hmm, maybe I should change the music a little bit. Can't go back to sleep. Alright, I'll change the music. Make make it low-key sleepy, but not really. Let's see. Yeah, this should do it. As long as there's no ads. <laughs> oh, you're in New Jersey. Hey. My, uh... Girlfriend's sister. Wait, 
my girlfriend's older sister's um, husband is from New Jer Jersey. <laughs> Insomnia, the usual. Oh man. It's terrible, dude. I'm sorry. Hmm. I should keep my stuff here, actually. This is a pretty good spot. I need to pick my dailies. Mount Rise is fun, but you really have to ride around to really get, like, all of it. Like, literally just ride around. So, okay. I'll chop logs. Um, no, actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to plant. So I try not to jump around today. I'll just ride around. Fish chips usually makes you sleepy again. Hey, at least you have a crush. Some people just lay there awake. Let's see, I actually need to chop logs. I need to restock my log. Should have gone up here first, but it's okay. We'll ride around and chop some easy logs, I guess. This is a medieval MMORPG called Glory of Victus. It's a game I it's a game I played for a long while. But now that it's finally launched. It's a little more fun. Because there's a lot more people. It's a directional combat. So think Mountain Blade. But it has like Planet Side 2's. Uh, like territorial. And resource gains. So the world is in three. Factions. I'm yellow. And I fight up. We basically control these three sides. Well, th these are the islands, the capital islands. We can't go there. But the middle part is where we can see the fire. So right now, an enemy of the yellow is attacking this area. Or they're near it. And that's why it's on fire. Right now, I'm just trying to play some PvE stuff. Some stress-free gameplay. Oh, I need to remember that there's logs here. It's very important information. It'd be cool if there was a 40k MMO. Oh, someone's here.
Bro, they took my loot. What the hell? I should have been faster. I need the decent log too. Well, that's what happens when there's after active players. People will try to take your, the resource too. Even if you're trying to be nice. <sighs> totally missed that. Computer games person, but I'm sure this is fun. Oh, what are you into then? Maybe you like console, or maybe you like the tabletop. Oh, shoot, they're still here. Trying to hit them without them blocking me. Raiders gloves. Cool. All right, still got to kill these guys that are spawning in. Yeah, they're wearing... Are they wearing leather? I can't tell. No. They're wearing heavies. Fuck 2v1. Alright. Nice. Still gotta kill more of them. Yeah, they're wearing heavies. That's why I need to sh beat them with a a mace. Ooh, a new recipe. Aqua Fortis. Nice. Just one more remaining. Ooh, gotta be careful before they spawn in on me. I can't see. Oof. Oof. You gotta let go just in time. Shit. You let go just in time, you can chamber it. Alright, cool. We finish that mission. Perfect. <clears throat> Xbox games. We've been playing games like DRG and Stellaris and BF1. Nice. Hey, I recently just got uh, DRG on um, my computer. Okay, there is a land bridge. We are headed to this spot. 
specifically the farm first. I can find because I actually use them. Oh, well, why am I going this way? I need to swing back around. I really like Battlefield 1. That one's fun. Until I start, like, dying a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I leveled up that one quite a lot in that game. <clears throat> uh, I was more of an ex, oh no, a PS4 guy myself. But I recently made enough to get my own PC. So now I can play whatever games I want. And more games are being ported to PC. New DRG is cross-platform. You can find my gamer tab. Genuine guitar. 59. I swear it wrong. I can't change it. My icon is a raptor. Alright, yeah. If it has cross-play, I think it does. Should be able to play. Be fun. Oh, this is new. I need to take a picture of this. Because I'm planning to do a um an AI readout of these lore scripts that we find in the game. Okay, I'm gonna head down but then head over this way. But first, let's see what kind of lumber we can get. Unless the other guy came here already and cleared it. Yeah, I think someone cleared it. I might have to go to a different server because I can't seem to be finding any logs to chop. Yeah, this person already chopped it. Yeah, they're all chopped down. Yeah, server hop if this is the case. Or I can just, you know, do something else. All alcoholic beverages are currently free at the Abyss Bar. Oh, wow. I haven't played, but I'm pretty sure that's for, like, buffs and stuff. Should I be chilling? Now yeah, we're done. I think I should. <clears throat> yeah. I should be chilling now we're done, but I kind of want to be here. Because then I can just go around and get herbs forever. Thanks for commenting on all my uh, posts, by the way. Really appreciate it. You uh, you show up to every one of my posts. That's it's pretty awesome. Uh, 
I'm, uh, I need to do more, more, uh, content for people to watch so that I can get my watch hours up. That way I can start getting monetized. I do need to make more guides, that's for sure, about this game. It's a lot to this game that people don't know. But then sometimes I stop myself. I'm just like, man, what if people already know it? What if what I'm telling people is like just easy stuff? Well, maybe for some people it's not easy stuff. It's something they never learned. I don't know. The Bispo are full of these kinds of drinks. The money ones either gives you or kills your buzz. since my daily is just about gathering logs I'm not asking what kind of logs so I just gather all the commons I see how many commons do I have already yeah we're gonna need more we're gonna get make billets out of it oh and occasionally you'll find the better quality ones like this quality wood. This is a T2 log. On the console, there's this game that's kind of like this, where it's first person medieval. It's called a. Uh, Shit, what is it called? It's called uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I always commenting on community posts. Yeah, I always check in the mornings. The only post I was late to was sorry argument with Chaos Goss. Goss of submission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no worries. I usually post them like in the morning. I try to post them in the morning. Like when I wake up or at like nine. Nine's usually the latest. But either way, I try to post one a day. Gotta find my sources of memes. Or like tidbits I can post for the community. Oh, I guess there's nothing in there. Unless. Yep, nothing in here. Okay. Grim Dank usually has something good, but then sometimes they don't. So I just go on other sites. And if all else fails then and whatnot always always pulls through. And they have a collection. Just gotta find something that's good for that day. Or something really old. So it's not like it's overused. Before my vacation, um, I was posting like at six in the morning every day. So for you, it'd be like a nine. Well, I'll end the 
machine gods are the only gods I need. <laughs> Maybe the Dark Mechanicum is the amalgamation of the two. Pretty surprised that the Dark Mechanicum isn't a faction. Like, were they eradicated to that point? Haha, uh -huh, it's 118. <laughs> hey, you're in East Coast with uh, Steve Turner. Steve Turner, this is Jack Marshall. He frequents the stream as well. Right now it's 1018 here. I'm in the West Coast. I was getting dizzy from watch uh, from playing uh, Division Two earlier. I had to like step away, play some Smash instead, <laughs> instead of focusing on an entire room, just focus on one character. Okay, where am I going? Let's just. Let's just uh, see what's over here. <laughs> Bears should get along, not fight. I know, right? If only they didn't aggro me. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, and spiders. Okay, spiders are hard armored beings so use a smashing weapon come here you 65 holy crap i should just use i should just uh go with a different challenge like fighting fighting scary monsters instead that's not, that's not what the challenge is called, but it's what I'm calling it. It's basically hunt rare animals. Anything over 50, like level 50, it counts towards it. But I don't think it's that common. Salutation, Steve Turner. Eh, <laughs> just call me Steve. Steve, like the Steve from Minecraft. Do Minecraft players on Smash are like, oh, it depends. You got little kids and then you got like little sweaty palm people who like spell shit <laughs> while they're playing. It's like, dude, what the fuck? I can't even touch you. And they just keep sending mine cards at you. If you guys play, if you guys play a uh, Super Smash Ultimate, the newest one, that's what I play sometimes when I'm like bored of my computer. I'm just like, all right, scooch over, Theo, my dog, because he he chills by the couch. I like, scoot over, and then <laughs> he just groans, and then I turn the switch on and play Smash. I play online, and then. I get super heated when I get on a losing streak. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why is everyone like destroying me or like dodging my every attack? I play a snake, by the way. But I need to get, I need to be patient because snake is like a slow character. But he can like really deny. With his grenades and all his explosions. I play Smash. I play Marth or Rob. Nice. I used to main... Wait. I wonder, should I change my name to... Genuine Guitar 59? 
so not everyone knows my real name. I mean, unless your name is Genuine Guitar. Wait, yeah, you can change your name on, on YouTube. You can change your name on YouTube. Yeah, totally. Steve Turner, for all we know, could be your your pseudo name. Okay, these guys are wearing these guys are wearing lights. I need to smack him with the blade. Haha, -ha, gotcha. I need to learn how to um. <clears throat> I need to learn how to um chamber them. Ouch. There we go. I used to mean Marth. I used to mean Rob too. I'm meaning Snake. Cause he's my he was my all time favorite character in like in all the series of of the characters that are listed there. Like Metal Gear was was really my shit. Like I was stuck on that. Like I beat Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> you saw that ragdoll? It was like head first. Face planted. Um in Metal Gear Solid 3. Well, actually no, in all of Metal Gears, I played all the difficulties. And then I played the easiest. <laughs> right after um the most difficult. <laughs> it's like okay, this is a treat now. I'm a weirdo. I play like normal and then hard and then really hard and then easy. <laughs> My real name is actually <laughs> and done. Oh, you change your name. Nice. I think it takes a little bit before the, the system recognizes that you're new. Dang, there's a siege camp here? What the fuck? Why? Oh, it's to attack this place. Duh. Alright, I guess this will be my new base. BOS. I'm in a... Wait. My new base. BOS, just base. Base of operations. I've only ever played Metal Gear Rising and Metal Fear. Metal Gear Phantom. Damn, dude. Rising's fun. Rising is really fun. It's like, it's really, like, really out of. I said really so many times. It's very. ahead of its time or very wacky depending on how you look at it phantom pain yeah phantom pain is fun it's, it's a lot of openness that's what i really like it's like i can just do whatever and just drop me in with a water gun and maybe dd just to help me out I like the whole chopping bit. I've only ever... The only Metal Gear played are Revengeance Survivor and I think it's called Phantom Pain. <clears throat> oh, so... Oh, your name changed. Cool. So, um... I played it since like the Game Boy days. That's why Snake is very endearing to me. Um, I played Revengeance and I played Survive. Revengeance was very cool because of the whole cutting mechanics. And it's a story after the Metal Gear series, you know, after Snake's run.
Yeah, <laughs> I really like the chopping part too. Like in the beginning, the tutorial, you chop watermelons. And then you really can chop it and like, like you really can slice it. <laughs> it's not just a gimmick. It's like, it's like there's physics involved. It's really cool. Whenever I dismember enemies, I would always try to chop their like their limbs off, like arms, hands, or or I would just make a V basically, <laughs> turn them into an arrow pointing down. That way it's more efficient. Like one slash for one side, <laughs> one slash for the other, and then the head. Or sometimes I just get OCD and just try to chop them like right in the middle. Plus, you get more points for it, too, I believe. <laughs> Nano machine, son. <laughs> Dude, Rising was like a meme. That shit was like ahead of its time. Oh, I'm supposed to be chopping these logs. See, I guess no one's here anymore because this is like the new barrier. But look at all these quality logs. I need these to upgrade stuff. You can play Pacific and I like, chop off their limbs. Oh, you mean pacifier? Oh, but not their head. <laughs> yeah, I played um, Metal Gear Solid 2 for the PS4. Oh, no, for the PS1. That was the one I really got into. Because the Game Boy game, that was fun. It's different. A different gameplay than others. But um, the PS1... Metal Gear, that's when I like really fell in love. I was like, wow. It's top down, but it's 3D. And then you can aim your gun and it turns it to 3D. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck on that. I didn't know English back then. So I didn't really understand and I didn't appreciate the story. It was just like, cool, you're just. You're this soldier guy who's has to sneak around, you know, instead of actually gunning everyone down. You can, but then, you know, you'll eventually be overwhelmed. I didn't have my own game console until... Well, until I'm adult, actually. <laughs> I've been mooching off other people's game consoles my whole life. Until the Wii. The Wii era. That's when I got my own. I had enough to get a Wii. The Wii U I skipped. I was like, what's the point? And then... I... I jumped on the DS because it was like quite a few years before the Switch came out. Once the Switch came out, I didn't really even get it until Animal Crossing. And even then, Animal Crossing made switches and the the virus made switches become like very scarce but i got it just in time okay i'm not gonna farm until it rains i don't i don't feel like watering but i don't want to wait for the rain Oh snaps, I need to put down my crafting station. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's perform some things first. Or believe. That's what we're going to do. There's my water. Here we go. Xbox One, 360, PS2, PS3, Game Boy Advance, Wii, DS, 3DS. I had 3DS. DS, I had the, I had a DSi. That was a short-lived thing. Uh, Switch, 3DS XL, and Atari. Nice. Out of all of those, I've played... Well, actually, I played on all of them. Uh, but I only owned Wii. Um, oh, I had a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy SP, uh, Game Boy Micro for a little bit. Um, what else? I already said Wii. I had a I skipped the regular DS. I got the 3DS. And then I got the DSi. The DSi was pretty cool, actually. Like with the camera. And the 3D. And then they came out with a better 3DS. I had the, the Link. The Legend of Zelda. Like the gold and black 3DS. That's cool. I wonder if it's collector's item or something. It's funny when you drop all four of their limbs, they lay there in the ground and wiggle. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's chopped off, not dropped off. <laughs> They're lizards. I've also put I also got Star Wars pinball machine in my basement, and yes, it works. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, keep it ma well maintained. Leave a reserve of holy oil, aka WD 40s, near it. Make sure it's well maintained. Make sure that ball can see it's so bright you can see its future. <laughs> collector's item here I'll fertilize sure oh I need to drink before I do this okay each one of you get one fertilize actually do I even want to fertilize I need to use my uh, my fertilizer though it has so much I forgot where you buy the the f buckets of fertilizer because you can turn these stacks of ferts into buckets and then you can throw it down. It's mainly just to clear it out of your inventory. But you can throw it like a bucket. Okay, workstations. I need to craft myself some workstations. All right. I need campfire. Cap. All right, let's drop the campfire. It usually slots with other things that are like it. So a campfire will stick to a campfire. There it goes. 
Let's drop all the meats in. Okay, I need to add some wood, all but one. Stoke the fires. Now I need to make more billets. I can mass reduce um, billets, but I need to be level 52 in uh, forestry and farming. Uh, let's do it a hundred. Okay, well that's going. I'm gonna be right back. I need to use the restroom.
Hey, I'm back. Oh wow, this thing's still going. There you go. 100 bullets. Just for this. Maybe 800. There you go. Now, I'm forgetting how the smelting works. Let's see. This is from Iron Lump, Quick Lime. We can't cook on campfires. I meant uh, in bloomeries, but we can cook here. All of our metalworking stuff. All of our metalworking stuff. Hi, Theo. Hey, babe. Uh, it's in the shoe rack. Can you... It's okay, I got it. That was my girlfriend. Oh. Alrighty, genuine guitar. I'll see you next time. Good night, y'all, or good morning. I don't know which. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Marshall, it's been good talking to you. I'll see myself out. Ciao. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you next time. See you next time on the, sh on the posts. So I need to make a bloomery. Too bad there's no lighting effects on these things. I bet if I turn it on. It becomes a new lighting source. Yeah, these are lighting sources. We're going to post process high. We're going to render very high too. Let's see how far it gets us. All right, we're still smooth. That's because we don't have any shadows. Who needs shadows? Oh, I can just keep making bloomeries. Making bloomery. Seems like everyone wants bloomeries. Let's put this right there. Can I put it close? Okay, I'll put it right there then. I'll let them stack. How about you, Jack? What are you what are you into? Like video game wise. to make this much wow atrocious oh i need to put pyrite in right i don't have pyrite do i yes i do pyrite let's put half <clears throat> half and then let's make some charcoal from here. Just like the other one, we'll make a hundred. Let's drink first. Char. And then 100. 600 seconds, okay. Mostly RPGs. 
I don't say anything to have a good story to me at least. Okay. RPG with a good story. I've yet to play Dragon Age, like especially Dragon Age Inquisition, but I hear it's really good too. As you can tell from what I play, I'm into MMOs, RPGs, um, Well, okay, I'm into a lot of video games, so I just list off what I don't like. Um, I don't like horror. Um, first person is okay sometimes, depending on like what kind of game. First person shooter, like, not really because I'm a noob. <laughs> okay, we'll have that. There we go. Use a charcoal as a source of fire. And a source of <clears throat> making steel. Cool. Cause we're gonna need the rest of this. Oh, I think I think the rest of the bloomery stuff is in the marketplace. I knew I know that the market person is also here. I think. Oh no, they're right here. Yeah, market keeper. I need to head there. And able to do that, I need to ride on over. Where's the ferryman? I know there's a ferryman here. Oh, I guess the other ferryman is here too. Okay, so I just got to ride down. Oop. I'm okay with horror, depending on what type of horror. I don't like, like, uh, dismemberment. Unless it's, like, comically funny. Like, uh, Mordhau. And, uh, Revengeance. Like, if it's slow like realistic blood gushing with pain like one of those interactive ones where you have to like press the button hard enough or else or fast enough or else your characters get their head chopped off or their arms or their fingers pulled or whatever i don't know i don't like those and that extends to movies too like i'm not too keen of horror movies <clears throat> Even though, like, you know, sometimes I can just sit through them and be like, all right, this sucks, but I know that it's not real. Leaves the light on. <laughs> I can never play Outlast. Oh, I haven't played Outlast. That's how, how much of a chicken I am with that game. Looks fun, but... I don't know. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to simulate being in that situation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to be in it. <laughs> I don't need to simulate it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not I don't really like walking simulators uh, maybe when I get older I probably will <clears throat> the only walking simulator I like is uh, Death Stranding and that's not really a walking simulator I'm going to get these numbers up.
I don't like games where I can't fight back. Yeah, same. I know there's walking simulators with a story, and then it's basically like an interactive story. Let's see if I can do a nine by nine. I'm in a three by three. Yeah, I did it. That's how you efficiently water them. games I don't like see I really have to think about it because I like a lot of games like I'll play them I guess I would have to go through steam and see all the genres and be like all right I'm no I'm good on that because I like a lot of stuff I like thinking games I guess not puzzles, but more like management. I like management colony sim games. <clears throat> another watch, another viewer, Boswell. He plays this game. He he likes. He said I'm a colonizer because I like to play colony games. And my girlfriend says the same thing. Like another colony game you're a colonizer i'm like i just like building from scratch <laughs> like you know in scenarios where you plop down with three different characters and you know tell them what to do see how far they go i like room world i like those colony games <clears throat> they made an mmo where you are one colony and they put like a uh, wall one colonist and you just and you control that colonist and you build and craft using different recipes and stuff around the world but the catch is there's other people too so if it's a uh If it's a PvP world, then, you know, new players have a limited time before they can start getting attacked again. But basically, it moves like, like a 2D world, like up, down, sideways. And yeah, you build walls, you build workshops. To upgrade your armor, your tools, blah, blah, blah. Pretty cool. Earlier, I was going to play um, Noble Fates. That game's pretty fun. I was playing it the other, like, yesterday. And yeah, I remember how fun I had playing that game. I could play it again, actually. I might. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I feel like chopping wood and stuff, gathering for, for a little bit on this game. to chop nope i guess not you mean games like halo war oh uh, yeah i like rts's <clears throat> there's a special place in my heart for rts's because that's the f first computer game i played it was at an after school program place called quest learning center this was before the dance team 
it was at an old spot uh on top of an optometry <clears throat> but basically i would go there after school while my mom was you know working she would come by when she gets off work but basically after i'm done with my homework and everything uh there was two computers and they're like hardly ever used and I just started using their computer. <laughs> just bringing games I had at home. They didn't have any like locks or like, like, it was just a computer. You know, it's not like the library. Oh wait, I do have to go down there. Okay. Where they have like locks where you can't access programs or do whatever, you know. This one, it was just a regular computer and I just, I didn't take advantage of it. I just used it and I just installed games that I had. <laughs> I would, <clears throat> I would get games from online, burn it to a CD or whatever, and then bring it over or, you know, like wait until after school to play <laughs> quote unquote. But, uh, my very first RTS that I played was Age of Empires. <clears throat> or no, no, no. Um, Age of Mythology. And then I got I, I got introduced to Age of Empires and all that other stuff. But yeah, Age of Mythology, that was my, like... That was where I learned how to play RTSs. Not as good as StarCraft, like Korean people with their StarCraft. It's actually their pastime. That's crazy. Like you think baseball or, you know, soccer or football as a pastime, but no. StarCraft is Korea's pastime. That's nuts. If you think about it, it's how advanced they are. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, and then I played this other RTS called Tsar, it's like T-Z-A-R, or C-Z-A-R, I forgot, but anyways, it's an RTS, and it's like a, a top-down RTS. I tried playing it again and I was like, what the fuck? How did I get used to playing this game? I played against the bot and I got owned. I was like, oh fuck. Game's not for me. Is there a chest here? Yes. These places always have some sort of peculiar chest that you can grab. Soldier's War Sword. Nice. You just gotta look around. Then little nooks and crannies. <clears throat> I do need more of these because I need iron and nails. And I need it to level up my armor crafting. playing sims as well in my early days i was really into sims and now it's free sims 4 it's free it's crazy if i was a kid and i'd be like damn sims 4 is free that's nuts but there's so many expansions they can literally can make it free so that you know make the base game boring because you can only do so much in base game <clears throat> but i'm a weirdo with video games like i like vanilla it's so odd i just like vanilla games like you know how it's intended
The only mods I like are like Project Zomboid mods. Where it changes the experience, but like make it fun. I mean, that's what they're all supposed to do, but, you know, that's the one I'm okay with. Everything else, I'm just like, uh. Okay, move to Capital Island. Now, will this move me to the center one? Because that's exactly where I need to go. See you there. Or be squared. All right, cool. We're exactly where we need to be. Very nice. Let me see the guild. I'm at 5%. Nice. <clears throat> I'm super at 11. Holy crap. But I'm beating everyone except Chungus and Bumpy Knuckles. I'm almost at a hundred. Where does this wagon take us? Can we even interact with it? Probably not. Oh well. We are gonna need to go here. It's raining. It's actually good. We can actually just run back and forth. <laughs> Most mods I download are only to add companions or fix a little thing that annoys me. Yeah, that's what I like mods for. I don't like mods for like turning the game into something else. That's an abomination. Most other people don't know, but this is another dig pit. And another market. The only thing this place doesn't have is a depot. So this could be a new hangout spot if someone wants to chill here instead of over there. Plus it has all the crafting, <clears throat> all the crafting stuff, workbenches and vendors. Just doesn't have a depot. That's it. Just a depot. Um, what did I want to buy? Crap. How much is bread? My character is getting hungry. That's not bad. <clears throat> I'll buy 10, please. Ah, so this is where all the cases are being sold. Most are going for one silver. Ooh, I should save old bottles when I fish. Yeah, I can sell these for pretty pennies. I'm saving all of them. Because the longer you go, I guess the more valuable they become. Just depends. Skin. People are selling skins here. I bet it's like one gold each. <laughs> Everyone's selling Swordsman Hood. Because that's the free one you get from the game. 
Let's see back here. Damn, there's people who's actually flipping the sets. That's crazy. Damn. I know players that have already like 60 gold. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah. Cards. These are valuable. Especially the name changes. Is there any name change? No. No one's stupid enough to do that. Heraldry symbols. You even buy heraldry symbols? I didn't know that. A long sword, nice. Others. What are others? Spider venom gland. Oh wow. Everyone needs these. Fragments? Bro. I'll take them. I'll take all of them. Here. Map frag. <clears throat> Holy crap. These guys are just selling them for nothing. You need 40 of them. So they can turn it into a map that you can uh, go out and look for treasure like I did the other day. Interactive. Let's see. I'm just shopping at this point. Herbs, campfire. Here, what's that? What's that with the minimum? Let's see. What? Fragment. Oh, lore fragments. These are all going for a minimum of one silver each. <clears throat> Glory rewards to see if we can buy anything. Bro, are you serious? That's how much people are selling those? Extra attributes. Dude, the market's nuts. Let's look at some tools. Maybe I can get some... Uh, T3s. Most are T3 shovels. If I press Z, I go to my uh, skills here. I can see my fishing that can use blue rods. But I actually want to use, oh, actually, no, I can use the blue rod and then fish with this. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. I need a T3 tools, things that I can use. Fishing rod down. That's kind of steep for a fishing rod, but fuck it. I need one. How are my tools? Damn, I've been using a city pickaxe this entire time. But, I mean, what's the difference, right? I guess I can just keep replacing it with city. Because those are, like, cheap.
Recipes. Let's see what recipes I don't know that are cheap. Brew, brew. Nice. I'll take it. I forget I keep having to come here. All right, I'm gonna just keep playing. I'm getting thirsty.
I had a problem with Fallout 4 because all the junk that I had to collect for mods for my weapons for the settlement. So I installed a mod that made miscellaneous things weigh nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's a good that's a good mod. That way you can focus on just what you need to do.
All right. <clears throat> After these arnica plants are bloomed and ready to harvest, I'm going to call it a night. So let's set a timer. These are done usually at 13 minutes. Okay, let's give ourselves 13 minutes. Set timer for 13 minutes. 30 minutes. Counting down. Oh my god. Change it to 13 minutes. Oh, a new wooden log node unlocked. Nice. One more and then what do I get? Increased amount extracted. So that means I can chop these way faster. And since I'm using the blue one, this will go up. Applies to journeyman. Someone on Reddit had a question about the progression. I should do a video on it. Basically, they were asking if the things you unlock in the bottom nodes will apply to the top ones too. Some people are saying no, but I'm saying yes, but only to the ones that says that it applies to. Because if not, then it only applies to the weapon that it applies to. If it doesn't say applies to anything, then... See, applies to on. This one applies on. But then if you look at other skills... If you look at other skills, like say armor, right? And then you unlock a node here. It doesn't say applies on tier two armors. It just says that. See? Or weapons, same thing. It doesn't say it applies to T2 weapons. It applies to everything, all the weapons and their damage. That's why you want to unlock these. See, increase modifiers. And it's not just for this weapon. It's for all of them. Every weapon. That's how some players are doing stupid damage. Because they're getting their nodes up. That's why it pays to use these, uh, the lower tier things. Yeah. No more wood for me to be chopping. Okay. Oh, it looks like someone's mining. Did this granite came back? It did. Okay. Good building material. Cool, got my rights up. Why does it say stream elements bot is running again? 
That's odd.
All right, Jack, Marshall, thanks for joining in. Um, I'll see you next time. I'm getting a little sleepy. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably be playing some uh, Noble Fates. And uh, yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow if you uh, join in. But yeah. Peace out. Humbly thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, hey, wow. I didn't even know there were so many people watching. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, please subscribe and like if you haven't already. If you enjoy this content, I stream almost every day. So if you enjoy this and you want to see more, please help me out. Because it also lets other viewers know that they can also tune in too. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.